What does define a life well lived? How can you look back at someone's life and deem that life worth living? Think about it. Philosophers, scholars, thinkers throughout the ages have tried to tackle this. And at the heart of the discourse lies that essence of human existence, that transcending idea where mere material accomplishments or maybe character or morality or impact on your society, what is it that determines a life well lived? Is it a church filled with 500 people? Does that prove it? Is it a line an hour and a half long during a wake? Does that prove it? We often find ourselves drawn to individuals who I think exemplify qualities of courage, compassion, resilience, integrity, character. And these virtues often intertwine with one's actions, one's choices, shape a, I'll say it, a legacy that somebody leaves behind. Now, don't get me wrong. A generation, two generations from now, unless you're you know, someone who's actually moved history, unfortunately, any of the photos of you on any wall in any house will be gone. If you're lucky, they'll still be in the attic. If you're like most people, they'll be in the garbage. Tolstoy wrote, the sole meaning of life is to serve humanity. This sentiment, I think, echoes throughout all ages, all time. If you can serve humanity, you will, I think, have lived a, a life well lived, I guess, or at least remembered. Reminding the fulfillment is not found in the pursuit of personal gain, but the meaningful connections we forge and the lives that we end up touching. The measure of a person's life extends beyond their outward deeds and accomplishments. It encompasses the very way we navigate adversity, the strength we exhibit during times of absolute trial and horror, the kindness maybe we extend to those around us, even when that kindness is not reciprocated. It's relationships we cultivate, the values that we uphold, the legacy they leave or we leave for future generations that... Don't be swayed by society's narrow definitions of success in this. It doesn't have to be financial. It doesn't have to be monetary. None of that really in the end. It actually doesn't have to be fleeting fame. I guess you strive to live a purpose. Live authentically. That's a word I've... That's a great word. Popped in my head. Live authentically, I think, is a life well lived. Now, can you say you live authentically? You're true to yourself, guided by principles of integrity, empathy, humanity, humility. God, humility, we've forgotten about that. To laugh often and much, to win the respect of intelligent people and the affection of children, to earn the appreciation of honest critics and endure the betrayal of false friends to appreciate beauty, to find the best in others, to leave the world a little bit better, to know even one life has breathed easier because you have lived. This is to have succeeded. That's Emerson.